In today's video, I'm gonna break down why you get stuck in negative behavioral patterns, even though you know deep down they do not serve you, whether it is smoking, vaping, eating unhealthy food, getting angry, saying things that are hurtful towards other people, even though you don't really mean them. All of these things that deep down, it feels like they have more control over you than you have over them. I'm gonna pull apart why this is and then what you can do to start to make a shift so that you can create a brand new reality for yourself so that you can actually break these negative cycles for good. And this is what has absolutely helped me. I grew up a really angry teenager with a lot of buried and repressed anger and I would be a ticking time bomb. I would bottle so much up and then there'd be a, a breaking point where something would really trigger me and I would explode and I would hurt people. I would say things that I didn't mean and then I would get stuck in this cycle of, of feeling ashamed of, of myself and judging myself and being frustrated. And it felt very familiar, even though it, it was deeply uncomfortable. It was something that I really found so challenging to be able to break out of. And what I've discovered through mentoring hundreds of people and helping them overcome these exact same things is that we as human beings seek comfort and familiarity, even if that comfort and familiarity is, is deeply uncomfortable. And so up until the age of seven, as children, we are so susceptible to our external environment. We are like a sponge that absorbs everything in our external environment. And the reason this is important is because if we grew up in an environment that wasn't safe or there was potential threats out there that we perceived as unsafe, then we have these, these survival mechanisms that we develop as human beings. By nature, we are primal beings. We have that survival mechanism wired into our way of being. And so growing up, for example, I felt very unsafe. I felt very unsafe to communicate myself and I became a people pleaser. I put on this people pleasing mask and there was a, a specific traumatic incident that happened when I was a young child. That's a story for another day, but this, led to me wearing the people pleaser mask and being who I thought others wanted me to be. And attached to all of this was me suppressing my authenticity, me suppressing my, my truth and speaking up for myself and being confident in myself because I was so externally focused on what I want, what I thought others wanted me to be. I lost this, this connection to myself. And so that's where this anger came from because I, I, never acknowledged what I was feeling and communicated what I was feeling. And because of all that, the, the more disconnected I became from myself, the more I suppressed, the more disconnected I became from myself. And so this is why I believe we get so stuck in, in ways of being because it's familiar and it's comfortable and we don't know anything different. And so creating a new reality for ourselves is really uncomfortable. And so what we would rather is stay in the familiarity of what we've been used to. So for example, I chose to continuously get angry. I chose to continuously bottle up my feelings and my emotions until it got to a point where I realized, hey, I've got more control over this and I need to take responsibility for these emotions that are coming up within my body and I need to start learning and understanding what my body is trying to teach me. I need to start allowing myself to feel the anger and then I need to learn from it and I need to recognize that, hey, someone's crossed a boundary here. This is an opportunity now for me to communicate to them how I feel. And then what this creates is it creates connection to myself and to them. And for me, this was huge in being able to break out of the patterns was taking responsibility and understanding that only I was the one that was able to make the change. It was up to me. And yes, I've had mentors over the years. I've had different people that have supported me on my journey, but ultimately it came back to me making a decision to create that internal shift and the shift comes from within. So right now, whatever your patterns are, whatever your pattern is, whether it is shutting down, whether it is getting defensive, whether it is getting angry, whether it is being scared of, of someone rejecting or abandoning you, whatever your pattern is, the more aware that you can become of your pattern, and then the more aware that you can become of who you want to be, who is the ultimate version of you? How do they think? How do they feel? How do they act? 
Are they secure within themselves? Are they confident within themselves? Do they speak their truth authentically? Do they take time to honor themselves and be with themselves and understand themselves? Okay, it is so important to notice the pattern, notice the trigger and to take responsibility and to have a clear way forward, a clear path forward. Because if you don't have a clear way forward, then it's going to be very easy to revert back to that old way of being because that is familiar even though it's not where you want to be. So the key piece here is to embrace the discomfort that comes with stepping into something new and unknown. To embrace the discomfort of consciously creating a brand new reality for yourself. That is the key because you get to choose what discomfort you want to experience. The discomfort of staying in the familiar the old habitual negative patterns or the discomfort of stepping into something new that is actually going to be more favorable on a longer term basis. So that is all for today's video. If this has been helpful for you, please share it with a friend. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this conversation, if you love these kind of topics, then you will absolutely love my school community. It is a community for entrepreneurs, for conscious creators, coaches, mentors, to come together, to cross pollinate, to share ideas, to share our visions and to learn and to grow alongside one another. So the school community right now is free. It's going to be free for the first 50 members to jump on board. So if you jump in there now, it will be free. But after the first 50 members, it's going to become a monthly paid subscription. But of course, if you get in there now within the first 50 members, you will have lifetime access for free in the future. We're going to have weekly group calls. I've got a couple courses that are in there now and new courses that are going to continue to be uploaded. So thank you for tuning in. Links are available in the description. Until the next one, thanks for watching.